applause for another one of Las Vegas' best folks, Mr. Tom Arnett. Transylvanian forests, growing ominous out of late night cinemas. 
and her eyes with smoky as tinted windows of a speeding limousine going by so fast you get but one passing glance. She is a prologue in some mystery trains. With frost bleached blonde hair, a coffin of bangs, hiding Eve dark eyelashes, whipping the night bar with her jacket of leather, medallion smiles and skirt taunt and tighter as she slowly bends over and looks back this way, her face fixed in a flirty. So this is England, Miss Manners of Discipline, with pale sallow cheeks of a speed freak's moon vision, her fingernails tapping a rhythm upon the barwood imitating the gallop of a coach pulled by cold blue steeds. Leather and iron ringing their frothing mouths and flanks, offering the unspoken question, would you like to ride that with some mystery chain trains? Her feminine partner chitters and chatters and arches her bareback, fondles a flask, squirms on her bar stool, riveted like nails on the polished wood floor. You know the two women lick each other like cats or candy apples. Partners in affliction, twin apparitions, in a flash sinking long fingernails into flesh-like fangs. Posing on a page, thoughts train, and a mystery. Almost ravishing and lashes of love bounded. And neither will know you can show them how to draw blood, teasingly riven and ravaged, yet enjoy the affair. Mike's back on. I stare. There are moments when one can gauge the wickedness of a woman by the height of her heels or compliance of temptation by just how she kneels. Juicy fruit comes in a yellow wrapper, and I just may feel her foil, but not in this poem, not during this night. For unlike most gentlemen, I've never preferred blondes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your memory. Thank you. Thank you. By the dam in Arizona, on the crest of a hill, still stands the charred remains of one strange mansion. That night comes a shadow figure dressed as a park ranger who sits and shoots coyotes, waits for a crazed mother, looks for three drowned children still alive in the strange mansion. A woman sweeps burnt floors while three children play games. Their remains so real. Though she threw them in deep waters years ago by the dam in Arizona on the crest of a hill still. True story. This one's inspired by people here. It's called Annoying Performance Artist. And in her spare time, she collects freezer burns and only reads issues of antique mirrors and curiosities that are exactly six months old. Well, how peachy. I want to say something about the performance artists here um, that I've seen in the few weeks I've come down here, uh, including the girl that left last week, pretty Marcy or whatever. Uh, whether you like them or you don't like them, I think the point of what they do is to uh, put mental stop signs up in your head and, you know, yield signs because you're probably driving at about 125 mentally, and that's a little too fast for anybody. So they have a, a very good purpose. But, uh, And I've read this twice at the uh, other place, so I'll read this one more time. You've got to pay attention to this, it's, it's fast. It's cold and the feeling is mutual. Jesus! What? There's nobody in this room tonight I'd ever want to fuck! Yeah. Look down on the table and tell me who's uh, 
there is a picture of a, a sculptor named Moreau. What table is it? Does anybody see it? Is it on, is it on your table, Andy? No. Uh, this was built around uh, looking at that picture and then just projecting on people that were walking in and out. Moreau sculpture. Evidence that thin, minuscule pine needles fell and falling still from out of the twisted, ridged, curved boss onto Moreau's face. Still, in his later years, as he sits in a Paris foundry making ceramic sculpture in the 1960s, still, frame, formula. Thin needles dropped onto Moreau's black rimmed Buddy Holly glasses and dropping onto lips precisely pressed in artistic concentration. Minuscule pine falling on busy paint free and moist cup fingers. The dawn of creation fell or falling on the boundary walls and upon his cheek, but Moreau doesn't seem to mind now. I sense, then witness my right hand push forward, downward, in an absent-minded, almost lunge, to brush the needles off his lips, cheek and eyes gently, even though the road is surely dead. Brushing on pine green and the road does not flinch. Then I blow off the needles and pinch the dry, crackling husk between my moist fingers. Some needles cling to the table surface, like birds in this unexpected storm in the 1960s at the dawn of creation, scattering like wisps of words or great fairies. Pixie dust won't save me or anyone now. I am the hand of God and compelled to wipe the rose glasses clean even though not fond of Frenchmen I've encountered. Or is Moreau Italian? Or Spanish? Is this not Paris, but Rome or Madrid? At the dawn of recreation, after the war, minuscule pine needles fell and fallen still like bombs from out of the twisted, ridged, glass boss plumber. Moreau seeks no shelter, but stands unblinking, creating a sculpture. When I have finished, Perhaps a photograph stamp in my later years will rest in the cubby hole back corner on the rough finished surface of a rainbow or Roma's cafe round table. Unlike Moreau, I will select my name carefully. Sir Right a lot for the round table. A good night, most nights, with my left hand pushing forward, downward. Pixie dusted style moat fairies will stroll, slipping through the rainbow or Roma, examining the wall works like five year old general scrutinized ant colonies. Momentary fascination before crushing the insect domes and mounds. I will not hang on a wall, but with Moreau. My black and white photograph mug will be covered by coffee mugs and awkward elbows. This chin will be reduced to a coaster for porcelain cups. It will be the dawn of creation somewhere in the 1960s as Moreau and I laugh at our own jokes of art. And we head for Paris, Rome, and Madrid. And you can keep your fucking needles, your ants, your bombs, the sculpture. I'll have a genuine friend. Moreau and I, the duo, unstoppable, will get drunk together. There will be no cops at the dawn of creation in the 1960s. It won't matter where needles fell and falling still, and there will be no 